Well, this was unexpected. The draconic power that rests within this place is not for the hands of the Resistance to hold. We thought to claim it first, but better to kill you now and be done with it. What need have we of the Dark Knights? Find your peace in this Temple of Death, boy. Yeah. <laughs> 
You'll never make it to the palace depths. There are. like the feel of this place. Oh, lovely. Only holy magic works on this lot. Caught between scales and a dead man. To his aid!
Thank you, good sirs. I believe I've hit something of a wall in my search for draconic magic. <laughs> uh, perhaps you might be able to help me a bit? I'd be happy to make it worth your while. Uh, you're with the Resistance, yes? Oh, well, escort me into the depths and I'll help your cause. Uh, fair? Then you are welcome to join us, Rudlam. Oh, uh, delightful. A far warmer reception than I'll have from what else in this foul place. I've had more than enough of these dreary halls already. Then why are you here? Well, I might ask the same of you. You came here alone? Not alone. But the others are gone. Turned to cold stone. Where are they now? Right beside you. Uh, this was a man? Yes. Turned to stone as he lived. The guardian of this temple cursed him. Why stone? This temple is holy ground. Oh. Then, uh, who are you? I am Zadoba. And you are as good as dead. You're the Guardian. Fool mortal! You will grow cold and stand watch here through the ages!
is better this way. Those who seek power are right to tread the dark paths. Walk on over my corpse into the darkness.
Hmm. The primordial structures within their bodies fail. The transformation was incomplete. Hmm. Living corpse makes some dead out of the dead. While resurrect merely puts off the true death for a time. Neither is the solution I seek. I was lucky, perhaps, in the case of the Galgastani Knight. Binding soul to flesh is no mean feat. But true primordial regeneration, <laughs> that approaches the divine. I achieve one half of the solution, only to watch the other fall to pieces. As futile as forging swords of glass. My apologies to you both. You were... failures. But a necessary sacrifice in the timeless pursuit of eternal, undying youth. Perhaps I will have to enlist help from another quarter. Oh? What do we have here? Selena! I admit I was not expecting company, Denim of the Resistance. Am I right? Nice to finally meet you in the flesh, as it were. I know you. You're Nybeth Obdelord, the corpse mage from Galgastan. What have you done to Sir Leonor? He and his companion were necessary materials, shall we say, for my research into immortality. A noble cause, you must agree. Noble? You profane God's creation and commit sacrilege upon the dead. Release them now! How can I release something that does not exist? These men you see before you are not more than piles of dirt. Or soon would have been had I left them to decay. No souls, just animated corpses. Are you even listening to me? Perhaps this will seize your attention. Denizens of the Abyss, from ink of blackest night I summon you. Darkness to me! Witness the fruits of my research. defiled by my father's sorcery. Forgive us, Commander. I will not allow this sacrilege to continue. Sacrilege? My dear child, necromancy is a noble art. It is nothing less than the path to salvation of the body and soul. The power to overcome death. Was it salvation you offered my mother and sister and Goliath? No! You knew it would not be complete. From the very beginning, you knew they would be left in that horrible place betwixt life and death. I disagree. In this matter, my heart sees truly as it has never seen before. I love Cassandra and Moldova. How could I not try to free them from death's bonds? No. I must strive to resurrect them. And toward this end, I use my art without hesitation. So you cling to such dreams, ever lacking the courage to face the truth of your failure. You talk of freeing your family, but if anyone is captive to death, it is you. Let me free you from this life, father, that you may trouble the dead no more.
Selena! It is I, Denim. <sighs> it's no use, you know. He remembers not one whit of his former life. How could he, when his soul is gone? Tell me, do you know why the undead always seem so bent on violence? It is because death is agony, and they despise the living for not suffering as they do. To the undead mind, such as it is, the only way to ease their pain is to inflict the same upon you. So Sir Lenar is gone. Repent swiftly, Necromancer, for you join him soon! Unfortunate turn, though I am not unprepared. The Munza, Lord of the Abyss, grant me the destructive fist and merciful heart bound within this ring. Break your seal! A much more fitting form for one so intimate with death. <laughs> Pure undeath is achievable, you see, provided you use the right tools. And you're not too attached to your own humanity. Something to discuss further next we meet. Nybeth! What in the hells? This body? What demon sorcery is this? What is this place? What has befallen me? Selena. Denim? <laughs> Wait. I remember. Death, Aracel. Uh, uh, oh. Selena! <laughs> <laughs> 